I have actually seen this one before. I don't know where, but I've seen this one before. So tiny. He's so tiny. They even have the Dyson water fan combination. Shook. But like if you open them, they're dark and I thought, oh, there might be a sensor up there. No, they stay that dark. How about to see? It's museum shop time now. <laughs> I might buy a photo book, but they're always so expensive. So if I find one of a photographer that I really like, I might get one. It is not too expensive. You will see. I really want to get this one. This one has been on my list for so long, but it's so heavy that I think I can't fit it in my suitcase. Aww. After Fotografiska, I took the train uptown to meet with a friend I made in the city for the last time. I totally forgot to get more video footage inside of the museum, but I just had so much fun with my friend that I totally forgot about it. On Saturday, I actually met up with another friend for the last time and we just went to Chelsea Market and walked around afterwards. starting to pack my suitcase. Actually, I did pack already a little bit. Um, my big one is already half full with like all the gifts and souvenirs that I bought and that I knew that I won't need anymore. So now I, the only things I have to do is like all of my clothes and electrical devices. I just put everything on the day bed that I still need to pack mainly all of clothes and just some some things from the museum that I bought. The Staten Island Ferry is a very special place to me because when I first visited the city and also took the ferry for the first time, that was the moment where I knew that I wanted to return. During the ride, I reflected on the past three months that I've been living in New York and how the city influenced me and my work.
Um, I'm at the airport now. Yay! Um, I already went through ch uh, check in, dropped off my luggage, and through TSA. The lady at the luggage drop off actually, we had the same name. We had the same name. It was so funny. And I think she, she gave me special treatment. Thanks, girly. Thank you. I appreciate that. But actually, my flight got cancelled, my first one. I was supposed to already be on a plane right now. But I had to rebook to another one that's leaving at 10 today because that was my only option. And because I had to rebook my flight, my special meal diet was not transferred, so I won't get a vegetarian meal. But they gave me a voucher for $15 and there's like a store here so I'm probably gonna get some food there later because now I just like have to chill and wait. At this point, I was still very happy because I thought I will have a relaxed flight without any worries. Instead, I got an 8 hour flight that was delayed by almost an hour with a total maybe of 2 hours of sleep because I was too stressed out since my transfer in Frankfurt was only an hour. So theoretically, I couldn't have made it. And you want to know why? Well, the first reason was because the catering truck broke down behind the plane and they needed 20 minutes to remove it. Then we drove all across JFK airport to go and get our wings defrosted. Because Lufthansa, of course, did not expect the snow that was hitting New York during that day. And the pilot did not make up for the time that we lost. He only made up around 15 minutes. So that was what I had in Frankfurt to transfer. And usually this is not enough. And I didn't get any footage of this because I was stressed. I had to run. I almost threw up at passport control. I literally had to go from gate Z54 or something to A2, which is kind of like a long way. And I had to push many people aside and I had to skip the whole line at passport control. I just wanted to catch my connection flight. Luckily, you know, as I'm just a lucky girl because that flight was also delayed. So I sprinted for nothing and had to wait another 15 minutes because the co-pilot was sick and they needed a replacement. Well, in the end, after a very stressful travel day, I did make it. The only thing that didn't make it, my luggage, because that one had to go on another flight. I had a lot of great experiences staying in New York and I'm very grateful that I was able to do this because I really think that this is a privilege that not everyone has. And I think that I really learned a lot, not only about doing photography, but also just about myself. I've seen so many places during this time. It's really incredible. Learned so many new things too. But even though it was a great time, I was really looking forward to going home and seeing all of my friends again, living in my own room and sleeping in my own bed. And I also just really miss European food and the prices but if you would ask me would I do it again I would probably say yes because after all New York is a city like no other. Mm -hmm.